Cliff Gaming with a quick tutorial about merchant ships for the game Atlas. Merchant ships are non-hostile NPC ships that you can find in many different sectors in Atlas. And if you board a merchant ship, you'll find that there is an NPC with which you can interact and buy things for gold. All you have to do is get adjacent to the merchant ship and then jump over from your ship to theirs. There doesn't seem to be any way to get on a merchant ship from the water, so make sure you're parked very close with your ship. Once you access the shop, you'll see that there are some cosmetic items. Currently there is a temporary item for a promotion, the top hat that doubles the gold you get. Also they have these two items here for 400 gold each that you can mount on the front of your ship. For a mere 50,000 gold, you can get this item to help you train a drake. and if you have just a little bit of cash, you can instead buy dyes that you can use on all the different items that you wear or hold in your hands. Finally, we have these clothing items. These are merely skins that you apply to items you already own, such as clothes or armor, and only change appearance and nothing else. That's your bottom line up front. If you'd like to see more details, just stick around after the intro. Thanks for sticking around. We already boarded once earlier, so we won't sit through that again. It is a lot easier if you have a friend that's sailing, that way they can sail right next to it and you don't have to let go of the wheel. However, you may be thinking there are some other ways you might try this. If you try to access it from the water, I haven't been able to find any way up onto the ship. Perhaps you can find one that I haven't seen. Another thing you might try to do is to stop the merchant ship, but that doesn't seem to work either. These follow a pre-programmed course that is put in by the map designer. Even on small servers, they can have their own ship paths that these follow. And even if you get in the way, the merchant ship doesn't seem to care. It keeps chugging along and eventually it will just push your ship out of the way and keep moving. So the best way and the only way I know of to get on is just to jump from your deck to their deck. Don't mind the mutiny, apparently I forgot to pay someone in another ship, but I wasn't too crazy about Bearded Mary Black anyway. The reason I stopped my ship was because I was alone and I needed to get back to it. Yes, I did get attacked by a shark, and no, everything doesn't always go perfectly for me. If you have a friend nearby or on the ship, they can sail alongside the merchant ship and you don't have to swim back like I just did. Now that we're on the ship, let's take a look at this common traditional figurehead that we got. It is purely a decorative item as well, and it's one that you put on the front of your ship. There were two options, there was this one and there was also a lion one. I personally prefer this one, however, one of my company mates has a lion one that we'll be looking at in a moment. As this is my first time putting one of these on the front of a schooner, I hope you can indulge me for a few moments. This is one of the prettiest early access games I've ever played, and I would like to take a look at this. As you can see, it's not only the mast that sticks out, but there is some decorative area underneath the front of the hull as well. I'm going to park my schooner next to my company mate schooner, which has the lion head figure on front, and then you can have a chance to compare the two so that you can know where you're going to spend your 400 gold. If you're new to the game or just curious how I'm getting these distant camera angles that are further away than the normal pilot menu, it's by hitting K to get an orbit camera and you can do this either whenever you're piloting a ship or whenever you're just out about on foot. Looks like we sailed up just as the light was coming over the cliff and we were able to get a good view of this lion figurehead. Let's take a look at these other cosmetic items. I know the first thing on your mind if you haven't seen it before is whether or not the dyes can work on sails. It doesn't seem that they can, however if you find a way to make it work let me know.
What you can do is drag the die onto an equipable item and then choose which regions you want to change the color of. Let's create a shirt and a hat real quick that we can use some of these skins on. Like in most games, the skins don't actually affect the properties of the items, only their appearance. You simply drag and drop, and each one of these skins has 10 applications, so you can use it several times before you have to go buy another one. I think it looks rather nice, however, I probably should have bought some pants. Thanks for watching Bluff Gaming. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, like or comment and let me know. Subscribe if you want to see my videos as they come out. And of course, if you didn't like it, you could hit dislike. But if you do that, I'm going to ask the devs to leave it so that we can't walk out on this figurehead. Thanks again for watching. See you on the high seas.